Okay. This is another question under the topic link mechanisms. And this question is a wire question. The diagram is given and the question says that or the instruction says that figure one shows a crank mechanism having F as center. The rod PY slides through pivot E and is connected to the crank. Plot the locus of a point P when the crank makes one revolution. That means when the crank turns around the circle, that is one revolution. So we are going to use the dimension given in the question, dimensions given in the question to solve this problem. So the radius of the circle is 40 mm. So distance from P to, uh, sorry, distance from F to Y is equal to 40 mm. And distance from F to uh, this line, where E on, on through, or through which E is located is also 40 mm. So it means the radius of the circle is 40 mm. Okay, so what we are going to do now is to draw the horizontal line. So we are going to draw the circle. I'm going to draw the circle. So I'm going to draw a horizontal line here. Horizontal center line. Here. Okay. So after doing this, I will draw a vertical line. I will draw a vertical line. So vertical center line. Okay. So the radius of the circle is 40 mm. So I will take my compass and measure 40 mm. So this is 40 mm. So I put at the center here. So I draw a circle. Okay, so this is the circle. So I will divide the circle into 12 equal parts. Divide the circle into 12 equal parts. Okay, so I divided the circle into 12 equal parts. So from the question, point Y is located here. Point Y is located here. So the center is point F. Here, the center is F. So we need to locate point E. So from the question, point E, we are going to draw a vertical line. We are going to draw a line from this point, goes up. So point E is located on that line. And distance of point E from this point is 40 uh, is 70 mm. It is 70 mm, not 40. 70 mm. So I'm going to draw a vertical line from here. So I draw a vertical line. Okay. So on this line, I will measure 70 mm. I measure 70 mm on this line. So this is 70. So this is 70. So point E is located here. So this is point E. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do, I need to number this. So I will call this point, I will call it 1. I will call point Y, I will call it 1. So this point, I will call it 2. So this is 3. So this is 4. This is 5. So this point is 6. So this is 7. This is 8. This is 9. And this is 10. This is 11. And this is 12. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is that from point Y here, I'm going to draw a straight line that will pass through point E so that I can locate point P. So now, so I will draw a straight line from point Y. So it goes like this. So it will pass through E. Okay, on this line, I will measure 150 mm because we are told that 
uh, in the question so yp is 150 so it's 150 that is 15 centimeters so this point is point y so this is point y sorry this is point p so i call this point p1 okay now so from two i will draw a straight line from this point so i will draw a straight line that will pass through point e again so it goes like this so on this line i will measure 150 I will measure 150 on this line measure 150 on this line so uh, from here so 150 this is 150 so I have this point okay so this is 2 so I will call this P2 so this is P2 so then from 3 I will draw a line that will pass through point E I will draw a line that will pass through point E so it goes like this and on this line I will measure 150 from 3 measure 150 mm from point 3 on the circle so this is 150 this is 150 so there so I'll call this P3 okay so the next is from 4 so 4 is on this 4 is on this line so from 4 I will draw a line so the line goes like this and on this line from this point I will measure 150 measure 150 mm measure 150 mm so this is 150 this is 150 so this is the point so I call this P4 so that's P4 so the next is from 5 I will draw a line I will pass through point E so the line goes like this okay on this line from point 5 here I will measure 15 mm 15 mm from 5 so this point so here I have so I call this P5 so next is from 6 next is from 6 here so I will draw a line this is point 6 so I will draw a line so the line will pass through E so the line goes like this from here ok so I will now measure 15 mm from this point 6 here so this is 150 so this is 150 mm so I have this point so this is P6 ok so the next is from 7 so from 7 so I will draw a line from 7 I will draw a line to so pass through point E so the line goes like this ok so on this line I will measure I will measure 150 So from 7 I measure 150. So this is 150 mm. So that's 150 mm. So I have this point. So I call this P7. Okay. So next is from 8. So from point 8, I will draw a line that will pass through point E. From 8, I will draw a line passing through point E. The line goes like this. Okay, I so now measure 150 from here. So just be taking it one by one. Don't have to rush it. Take it one by one. If you rush it, uh, you get confused. So just take it one by one. So this thing is simple and it is easy. So this is P8. So that's P8. So next from 9 I will draw a line I will pass through point A from 9 
Okay. So we draw a line from here. So the line goes like this. Okay. So on this line from here, I will measure 150 mm. So this is 150 mm. So I have this point. So next, from 10, so from point 10, from point 10, so I will draw a line, so this is point 10, so I will draw a line, I will draw a line, I pass through point E, so on this line from 10, I will measure 150. So this is 150. So this is 150. So here we have this point. Okay. Next. So um, this is P9. This point is P9. Why this is P10? So next from 11, I will draw a line. I will pass through point E. From 11. So draw a line, and on this line, I will measure 150. Measure 150. So this is 150 mm. Okay, so this point is P11. So the last but not the least. So from point 12 here, from 12, so we draw a line that will pass through point E, so the line goes like this, okay, so, um, alright, so from here, so I measure 150, so 150 is here, so here I have this point. So this is P12. So all these points are to be joined together with the use of a French cuff. With the use of a French cuff. So you have to join them together with the use of a French cuff. Okay, so I'll take my French cuff and join them together. Take my French cup and join them together. So there is it. So starting from so starting from here. So I can join this together. Okay. And join this together. And let me go in this way. So I just want to make sure this thing is smooth. So that's why I'm rotating it. So it has to be a smooth cuff. Okay, so. So next. Let me. Okay, I can join this together. So it goes like this. All right, so. So next. So next, um, I'm going to join these together. Okay. So next. to be 
very careful. Okay. Okay. I'm trying time to get it like this. Let me turn it to the side. Let's conjoin this together. And also join this together. Okay. So, I'm about to finish it. So the last part. Okay. So this is the locus of point P that we are asked to produce. So the dimensions are very, very large. So that's why we have it looking big here. So the dimensions are very, very large. So that is why we have it speaking again. So this is the low cost or the point that we are asked to get. So it's as simple as shown here. So this is a wire question. It's a wire question. So um, what you need to do is to practice. You need to practice as I've done it now. Get similar questions and solve them. Solve them. So it's simple. So I will still solve more. So you can go to my channel. Just search for Tijan Olawale Ismail on YouTube so you see all the videos that I upload have uploaded you can subscribe so that whenever I upload the video you will get a notification so like the channel um you can make a comment if you have any question to ask just to make a comment I will get I will get your feedback and I will uh give you whatever you ask for so thank you